All right, welcome everyone to another episode. Hang on, let me. I might. Good. All right, um, audio is working. <clears throat> Chat is off emote only. Good, we are ready to go. So, when we last left off, um, <clears throat> we had an interesting situation. Uh, where the party was going through TSA to get into uh, a uh, a kind of safe zone called Sanctuary. So and um, Abigail was trying to persuade her team uh, companion Callie why working with demons and stuff was a good idea and not making much headway with her attempts to do so. Uh, so without further ado, we will dive right into this absolute mess. Uh, let's start with, um, let's start with Naz. Opening intros. What? <laughs> Opening intros? Do we Hi, do I'm Naz, I play Abigail. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, he did it for you, you're good. That's no, kidding. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, we, we we know. That's why you were confused. I was like, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know we opened with them. Oh. But yeah, that is my name, and that is who I play. Yes, yes. Um, since you decided to, to jump like that, we'll go to you next, Ian. <laughs> I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington. Um, um, th things are happening. I don't know what's going on. I'm in a dark room. <laughs> Somebody help. And, and last but not least, Matt. Ah, Matt, and I play Marcus, and honestly, I'm just glad we got to Sanctuary, although this weird TSA bullshit is going to get on my nerves. I already know that. <laughs> real TSA fucking sucks. Right? <clears throat> so, we will we will do a nice little flashback. <clears throat> Excuse me. Black, back flash, flashback. Back in the um, flash. Right? And, um... <clears throat> we will... Let's see here. Let's start with uh, when Marcus first reached the TSA. So, you had to go th You had to go through three tiers of this kind of, kind of, uh, kind of like a TSA thing. So, in the first one, you are brought in... And what they do is they have gates that like open and close uh, behind you and then in front of you, and you guys go in one centaur rider at a time. <clears throat> the first one you enter is uh, this little pen with some clerics who okay. cast Zone of Truth. All right. And this yes. one walks forward and she goes, All right, please state your name. Oh crap, that means he's gonna have to say his full name. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna go, Marcus Neal, and he's gonna like put his hand up as he says his last name. He's like, uh, yeah, Marcus Neal. <laughs> and he's oh. just gonna look defeated. Why, why did you seem upset by that? Uh, I, I just don't really like my last name. It's tied to parents and that's a whole thing holy shit i should shut up right now <laughs> the, the zone of truth does tend to have that effect on some people um what is your business here in gashale and why are you trying to enter sanctuary i was shipwrecked with a bunch of other people trying to get to the other side of this continent to help out others there and I am here because I am tired of being attacked by a lot of things all day and all night. All right. Uh, what can you tell me about your companions? Do any of them have sinister, sinister motivations? I don't think so. 
Sir Wellington is a little bit of a hothead and he likes to get in trouble a lot, but he has a good heart, I think. Uh, Kieran is a little bit too horny for his own good, and he's gonna try and like shut up. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't need to know that. I mean, I guess you kind of did need to know that, but anyways. Uh, Do any of your companions pose a threat to Sanctuary or its um, related allies? I do not think so, no. All right. Well, thank you for asking these questions. Me, uh, these questions uh, for me. Um, you may continue through to the next, next checkpoint. Thank you kindly. Uh, as you rode into the next one, uh, wizard came forth and cast detect good and evil on Marcus, and he kind of like looks you over and goes, hmm. All right. This one's clear. You can go on through. Thank you. Is he walking? Nah, he's, he's on riding on, on... I believe you're on the lead centaur, so you're actually yes. ahead of the rest of the party. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah, you're riding on the back of... What the heck was his name? I have it in my notes right here. This is why... Jonathan. Sebastian? Sebastian, Sebastian yep. Yep. Yeah, the one with a weird name for a centaur. Yep. It's a fine name for a centaur, guys. Leave him alone. Thank you. It is a <laughs> fine name for a centaur. It is. It is. It's just too normal. He's a normal centaur. Right? Fair enough. Have you seen where we are? <laughs> There's nothing normal about this. Except Sebastian. You're about <laughs> to see the first normal thing here. <laughs> A half horse, half man. That's the most normal thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. I mean, I won't argue that one. Oh. Okay. Okay, what's the third tier? You are now a tier three sub. <laughs> yep. Um... Let's see. So the next one you enter into, uh, the the gates open and close behind you as the next party member comes through and is is tested for, you know, are you a demon, basically. Um, And in the next... There we go. Uh, And in the next room, as you enter there, uh, the uh, Sebastian kind of stops, and the guards kind of move forward, and they're like, all right, um, we're going to need you to take off your um, backpack, any large purse-like objects you'll need to put over here. Um, And it's kind of like, it's not a conveyor belt, it's just a... um, it's just a big table that they slide it along manually. Oh, I was going to say, like, does someone do, like, the move earth thing and, like, do that? Oh, yes! Yes! There's there's a mage <laughs> there who does move earth and it makes it function like a, a uh, one of those little, little conveyor belt things. Yes, that's a good idea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. He's gonna do that i think he Fuck just modern has. technology we got fantasy magic <laughs> that does the I same exact care. stuff which is why i have my world split into two halves the half that said we don't need magic magic we got technology and the half that said we don't need technology we got magic and essentially they have the same level of tech they just go about it different ways okay yes so... plane shift Well, okay, yeah, so there are some things that one has that another doesn't. Like, there aren't guns in the fantasy continents, and there aren't, you know, plane shifters in the the tech continents. But they do have fair, spaceships. To be fair, we don't have to get into a zero, obviously, but I was like, if you could shoot fireballs and stuff like that out of your wand, do you really need it? Yet? But we can argue about that later. That's a good one. I but, mean, uh, grenade yeah. launcher... 
<laughs> Melps so, minute missiles. Yeah, minute right. And what are that, that's 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 the technology side. You have Melps minute missiles, and then you have Melps minute meteors. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess me. No, actually, I think the tech might, side might win on that because if you keep going up, you eventually get the nuclear bomb, which is in the tech department. That is the closest true. you could get with the me- would be media uh, the meteor shower, and that still doesn't do quite as much as a nuclear bomb. Well, it does a ton of damage. Yeah, but you can yeah. cast it once, like once per day. Once per day, yeah, it's a level nine spell for yeah. one person. Yeah, but I'm sure you have. If they really were going at war, all you would need to do is get the one level twenty wizard, give the one level twenty wizard all your your country's resources, and say, hey. C- we're prepping for this. Can you cast Simulacrum for the next several like <laughs> months and just keep making copies of yourself? And then you're just gonna go in there <laughs> and yeah. Then also that the fact be, yeah. that you can cast Wish. That's true. Well, Wish is weird in my world. Wish as yeah, a spell but, is. But could you could you could you say could you wish that all bullets could essentially just be like powder? Turn to powder in midair. Oh. Uh, I I have to get into the technicalities of the wording of the wish, and because uh, I don't normally allow wish as just like a regular spell, just because it is so powerful. Yeah, um, that's fine. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that means that most likely I'm we're talking about a world event where it's like cl- collision. Oh, where it's like a collision between the tech and the magic. Yeah, yeah. And They're, so they actually have had, had that before in, in history. Yeah. Anyways. So, um. Yeah. You could. So. You could, in theory, if you had magical items that had wish, wish for bullets to turn into flower petals. Um. But it would only work for, you know, in the moment of the wish. So the active bullets that are flying are turning into flower petals, and then they reload on the next shot would be bullets again. Mark is going to look at the person go, uh, do I have to take out my weapons too, or can they stay on? Uh, the weapons will need to be taken out, yes. All right, just a second. He's going to take off his pack, and then sort of like how you see in the movie, he's going to put down the... Aberrant Morningstar there. Gonna grab out the Uru Wooer hammer and put it down. Grab out the two <laughs> hand axes that he has, put it down there. Oh my gosh. Grab the shield, put it on there. And then he's gonna like think for a second and like reach back. Oh, there it is. And pulls out a dagger and puts it on there. Oh my gosh. He's Keely. He is Keely. <laughs> yes. And oh he- no, he- Keely or Feely, really, either one. They were both True. packed with weapons. All right, all right, perfect. But then, yeah, he's gonna let them do his thing and keep going on the centaur, I guess. All right, so the uh, yeah, the the mage will like earth move it, uh, uh, use use move earth to like slide it forward, and it kind of like goes behind a screen, and they're all like talking back there, and you hear like, oh, that's cool. Oh, careful with that. Oh, just don't. Okay. Wow. Um, just picturing, there was a time I went through TSC, TSA once, and I took one of my uh, cosplay lightsabers with me. Ooh. And all of a it's sudden... It's a nightmare. All of a sudden <laughs> I heard... <laughs> and I'm like, well, they're having fun with my stuff back there. <laughs> as long as they put it back... <laughs> and it's working. And it's working, which they did, and it was... Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a funny experience. Um, <clears throat> after a couple of minutes of that, uh, one of the essentially TSA agents, we'll say, we'll uh, we'll say this. His name's Conrad. We'll we'll say um, <laughs> it's 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 not TSA, it's SSA. Ah, Sanctuary Security Association. Um, so one of the SSA agents comes around, um, I'm gonna write that down while I'm remembering that. <laughs> that is a good name, not gonna lie. There we are. I'm gonna make it. 
make a note of that. All right. Um, one of the uh, one of the SSA agents comes around and goes, um, and Mr. Green One, mixing up your characters now. Uh, Mr. Neil, uh, could you come with us for a moment? He's gonna just look as bad as that. Uh, I would prefer just Marcus, but yeah, is the, is there an issue? Um, just just come with us. We just need to talk to you for a moment. He just looks at Sebastian Dark. and just Dark. Dark. just uh, hops down. Uh, okay, all right, and follows. Uh, they will. Uh, they will take you into another room. <clears throat> where uh, you'll essentially be. Uh, so they they go up they 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 hold up their badge, um, and you see this hidden door slide the the rock wall just slides to the side, as uh, this this door reveals a, a, a little entrance into the side of the mountain. Um, you walk. You've in... seen this, but you've seen this before, Marcus. A bunch of archers came out because of Sir Wellington right? earlier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair. <laughs> He was oh, not aware right. of that one. That's that right. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. You have seen this before because when you guys first were riding into this canyon, um, Sir Wellington Everything echoed moved around and, I... and started shouting threats. And an army of archers came out and surrounded the uh, surrounded the party. I forgot. Yeah, that was also when, when Marcus... Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you have actually seen this before. This is not your first time seeing it. Um, He's going to go and look go. Is this about Sir Wellington? I, I swear, he he can be an idiot, but he was just joking. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And uh, so, there we go. <clears throat> uh, so as you enter, you're kind of brought into this. It's this dark little room, and the the door slow slides shut behind you and just like disappears into the wall again so you're just in this solid dark room and there's this little table and a chair with a tiny little la the, the 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 elf goes over and like turns on the lantern so that you can see like is that is that better for you mr neil marcus please and uh all right just a second and he's gonna go ahead and cast light on the table okay but well, that was unnecessary. We had the lantern right here. Uh, it got it. Sorry. And he's gonna deactivate it. Have a seat. Have a seat. He's gonna sit down. All right. Um, make a perception check, by the way. Ooh. Okay. Perception check. That is a 17. Okay. With a 17, uh, you first of all, you pick up that in the opposite end of the room, there are two armed guards. They appear to be kind of a fighter class standing, uh, just kind of at the ready, um, listening in. And when you, when you cast light on the table, it was dimmer than it normally is, a lot dimmer. You could you could safely presume there's some sort of magic dampening field over this area. It's not magic canceling, but it's magic dampening. So anything you try to to do in this room will be maybe at half strength at best. He just will kind of just look and acknowledge that and he'll sit down. So uh, if I may ask. What is this necessarily about? Mr. Neil, we discovered some contraband in your possession. Um, contraband? Yes. Uh, would you care to explain? I care to 
explain what. Why you have forbidden items in your possession. What? These things are inherently evil in nature. You should know. What? No. I, is it the Morning Star? Like, yeah, it can pack a punch, but it don't. I don't think it's unholy. Mm -hmm. Is it unholy? But no, I. I mean, I just have the Warhammer, the Morning Star. What, what the hell are you talking? About? I mean, I did have an auto, but I gave that back. What are you talking about? Uh huh. Um, he will go over, and one of the guards will kind of pull, uh, hand him something. And he'll take it. Thank you. And he'll set it on the table, and it is. Give me an investigation check. Like I know what this is, but. <laughs> You do? Yeah, it's the thing that uh, fucking Abigail snuck into. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's right. I forgot she spoiled that for you. <laughs> yeah. I d he was there when I told Histon. I didn't know he wasn't supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a 16. This looks like one of the idols you took from Sir Wellington and burned. He's gonna like look at that and go. Why do you have totems to demonic deities in your backpack? Sir Wellington would be pissed right now. I... Okay, first off, I do that should be burnt. I know what that is. I did I burned it along with the other ones we found while we were holding down the other castle. That should be Mr. Neil, do you really expect us to believe that if you had burned these, they somehow wound up in your backpack again? You can cast that. You had Zona True. Just cast that on me. I swear I am telling the truth. Mm hmm. Mr. Neil. I can wish you would stop using the last name. It is just Marcus. Please. That's all I ask. You clearly were able to dodge questions in Zone of Truth, as no one who worships such deities could possibly have good intentions when coming here. So, first of all, we will have to amend our interrogation methods there. To be more specific, thank you for helping us find that loophole. And... Just talk with Sir... Okay, talk with anyone from our group. They saw me go out in Burley. They know I scorned several party members for finding these. They know it. They can collaborate. Indeed. If that is so, um, at this moment, there will be a grinding sound. And he'll kind of, like, turn his head. As there appears to be some noise, muffled noise, the next room over. Can you give me a perception check? Fifteen. You can't hear what's being said, but it sounds like Sir Wellington's in there. <laughs> He's gonna look, look, look go. Oh, oh, Kalyane. Sir Wellington, what are you doing to them? So we'll we'll pan over to Sir Wellington yeah. as he enters his room. Yeah. <laughs> um, Marcus's interrogator the... kind of pops in and is like, "What's going on here?" And they'll kind of like whisper back and forth, and they'll be like, "Okay," and he'll head back. Um. What's this Sir Wellington scene here? Same thing. There's two armed guards that appear to be of a fighter class, and there's a small table with a lantern that they light for you, and um, a, a desk with a chair. He's going to wave at the guards. Hi. They don't react. <laughs> In fact, you, you could swear you hear one say, don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Start shimmying it in front of them. <laughs> Your interrogator like, mm. comes back. She's like, um, please have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. He I... walks over and sits down. 
Like his, I'm guessing his head's like here. Uh, up yeah, pretty like much. You're table. like just a head over the table. Like his hands you, are gonna like, be like, like his like, hands eh. are good. It's like those little kids. His hands are gonna be on the table. Yeah, basically. Hi. Hello, um, Mr. Wellington. Yes. Our magic revealed you to be demonic in nature. Do you have any explanation for that? I don't think so. Um, yeah. I mean, I answered the questions. I mean, if you want to ask more questions, I'm happy to. Uh, I, I don't... It depends, I guess, what people consider uh, demonic. Uh, I spent some time in a tree with my friend, Kevin, um, and that's kind of where I really became me. And that's... I mean, that's a different place from here. So I don't know... But I, I, from what Marcus has said about the demonic and like where things are, I don't think that that's demonic. But I, I could be wrong. Also, Marcus is really like, like on the on edge about that stuff, and he's really mean because he destroyed all my shiny stuff that had like that stuff. But it was shiny and it was pretty. But I wanted it because it was shiny. But he said it's demonic, so he couldn't have it. So I don't think there's. Oh demonic wait, stuff, wait, wait! But can you please, please go back? Um, yeah. You said this this Marcus character. He yeah. took demonic items from you. Yeah. Interesting. And he took things of yours that were shiny and destroyed them. Yeah. It could be. She she kind of like leans over to one of the uh, one of the guards. <laughs> uh, other, other people in the rooms could have been holy relics that he burned. It's possible. Yeah. All right, um... Sir Wellington. Fascinating. How did you and this Marcus individual meet? We met on the shore when the shipwreck happened. On the shore when the shipwreck happened. Interesting. He was with the group of the people who survived the shipwreck. He was with the people who survived the shipwreck. Fascinating. She's taking notes the entire time. Um, okay, okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, could you say, truthfully, hmm. that you yourself have never had anything to hide? I mean, there's things that I don't always like to like when I first meet people tell people because I don't know how people respond to let things. me put it this way we know you're a demon why take the form of a but, child but I'm not a demon roll persuasion with disadvantage he firmly believes he's not a demon well I know but they don't <laughs> I don't know why that would be a disadvantage then. You're, you're trying to persuade them that you're telling uh -oh. the truth. <laughs> you're not trying to persuade yourself. Okay. They've kind of already mi made up their minds about this. Persuasion is a plus issue. So. Um, it's not bad. That's an 18 for the first one. It's <laughs> Let's hope the next one's higher. Let's hope, let's hope, huh? Let's hope the next one's higher. Oh, net 20. Okay. All right. So. 22. That'll, that'll do it. Um, even at disadvantage, she kind of raises an eyebrow and goes, you truly believe that, don't you? No, I mean, the only thing that I don't know, the, I, I'm very bad at self-control and I touch a lot of stuff and I've touched yeah, there was one time I touched something and I became a lizard lady with big boobies for a while and uh, I saw stuff of uh, demons attacking and that was creepy and then I died in that and then I saw myself and different forms of me and then I Different came back forms. and I was myself. Yeah. Like, it, it looked like, like, 
if it was me, but from different places. Hmm. There was the lizard lady one. There was me. There's like two other versions of me that were like other ver like other kids. The lizard lady one was the most weird. I don't know. I don't know why I'm connected to a lizard lady, but I am. And then there was another time before, right before that, where I, I, it was, it was really weird. There was like, there was like this thing I picked up, and it made me go whoosh, 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 but it then felt normal. Okay. Okay. Do you want to see the item? It was uh, my shinies. Sure. Yes, he like that would be good. he like flops his bag on there and reaches it and just starts pulling out the like orb that oh, he touched. Okay. Okay. Um. We don't we don't need that. Um. Please put that back away. All right. Okay. He starts pushing it back in. He's like that. I touched that and that made me go wish wish wish, but I kept it because it's shiny. All right. Well. That's all I can think of. I have a lot of other shiny stuff in there. Well, demon or not, you clearly don't believe you're a demon, so... Perhaps this mark has bound you in such a manner. It's a strange case, though. Um, if you'll excuse me. Um, Marcus! But... but oh, what? But what, I don't think Marcus would do that. Marcus seems very adamant against anything evil. Like, he's made a point to also be upset with Abigail for anything evil that, that, or like mean that they do as well. So, I don't know. Ah, uh, the interrogator has left the room, but the two guards are just staring and listening. <laughs> One's like, don't make eye contact. He's like, oh, he's small and cute. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Um, he Marcus skits up. He, I get, I get, I get up on the table now that I'm alone with them and just start like dancing oh in front gosh. of them and like trying to just it's get like, some. Don't look! Reaction. Don't look! Don't look! And he's like, "What? It's, it's adorable." Just trying to get some reaction out of them. Like I like, I, 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 I like, I like get, I get. Uh, Snickers at, and I put them on the table and we start like synchronizing our dancing oh, in front of no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh god. So <laughs> um as as you're doing all that yeah. jazz um It's more hip hop than jazz. <laughs> hip hop than jazz. Um the the interrogator walks into the other room Marcus, your interrogator has cast Zone of Truth on you. And it's like on the table, full bad cop mode at this point. Like, all right, I'm going to ask you again. All right. Where is she? I told you to do this from the first time, what but you didn't listen to me because you're stubborn. What are you planning on doing with this? And he holds up the idol. Uh, I said, I do not know. I thought I had burnt that, and I have no idea how the fuck it got into my fucking backpack. Is that good enough for you, you fucking asshole? I don't know. It's still a form of dodging the question, fool. Oh, And I do fuck. not like mind games. I you do not want to see me willing... angry. I... I have been through so much shit right now, so if you think a little SSA agent is going to scare the shit out of me, then I'm sorry, you're shittier than old Tam's cooking. You, at that point, the other one comes in, and he's like, what do you want now? Like, I'm, she kind of like whispers in his ear, and goes, really? That's it. Uh, fucking great. He's going to lean forward. What do you know about demons? I'm a fucking cleric. I know a lot about demons. I know how to fight them. Do you know how to bind them? Wait, what? Would Marcus know how to bind them? Do you know any charm spells that would basically control demons, essentially? Any type of spells that, like, 
It could be anything from fear to... Hold on, let me actually look at his thing, because I know he has a ton of, like... Let me actually look. Uh... Go man, uh, Specifically okay. enchantments? Uh, Specific no. I can check, too. Um, the most he would have is maybe... I mean, he has his hollow enchantment? No, that's evocation. Yeah, no, he... Literally just has uh, resurrection spells, summoning uh, holy spirits to defend. Got summoning spells. He... You know, he does. Yeah, I am not used to this many spells on a character. Right. Uh, See, he ceremony. is practicing the dark stuff. He's got summoning spells. Right? You know, I. Well, that's gonna be the next question. So actually, that's. Whoops. <laughs> you know, so he goes. No, I don't know any sort of bond in spells. Do you know pe Oh, yes, you do. Or do you? Raise the dead is uh, is considered because you're binding the dead to your service. Wait. It's on. not demons, but it does count. Raise dead. Wait, that's not the... Okay, he's just asking binding in general. It doesn't have to be a school of enchantment. Right. Okay. Yeah, I didn't... He was, Marcus was specific, like Matt was specifically looking at the school of enchantment. Ah, uh, fair enough. You know, sorry. Wait, uh, he's dead. Isn't that the? Way? Hold on. I thought that was a healing spell. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You're you're making them undead. Oh no! Wait. No, oh, this no, wait. animate. Animate dead. You have raised dead. Okay, never mind. Never mind. You don't. You don't. You're yeah, thinking right. of Abigail's character sheet. Well, that's why I was so confused. I was like. Wait a second. You know, Some what? demons what is, what is and an enemy like, is on advocate. Oh, he's resurrecting. <laughs> you know, I'm dead. reading it and it's like, you return a dead creature you touch to life. And I'm like, that's not undead. It's literal life. <laughs> so he goes, no, I don't. All right. Do you know any summoning spells? Uh, and he's just going to list off that. Oh, I'll actually do it right now. Yes, I do. I have Spear Guardians. I also have, as I'm saying while I look at my spell list, I also have Guardian of Faith. Let me see if there's anything else. Your guardians. Uh, Guardian of Faith. Yeah, no, that's it. Do you know anyone who you associate with that is familiar with binding spells? Would Marcus remember if anyone has? You could make a, let's do a history check. It's recent history, but it's history. Okay, yeah. Nineteen. Okay. Um, there are several members of your party, Abigail included, who would know stuff like that. Um, would he be aware that, uh, Snickers is a familiar? Oh. Would he? I don't know. Because Snickers just pretty the old, there's only been one time that he's changed Snickers form, yeah. and he was and he wasn't around during that. Ah, uh, that is true. Yeah, that is true. And even then, he would probably think, "Oh, uh, Sir Wellington just changed his form." Yeah, Sir Wellington does that. Yeah, he, luckily, because that would be really bad if it was Sir Wellington. Um. <laughs> Luckily, he does not know that Sir Wellington is one of... I mean, you don't even have to specify. They didn't ask for specifics. It just asks if he knows anyone who's familiar with binding magics. <laughs> anyone, period. Anyone in even his, back home. Anyone in his party. Okay, oh, okay, so there are those that, besides Sir Wellington, that do have that? There are a few others. I mean, there's a, there's a couple of them. All right. Thank you for your time. Am I free to go? Uh, walk with us. He's gonna get up. Fucking SSA. And he's gonna just start cussing. Um, he has walked into the next room. The guards kind of escort him in. Uh, where... <laughs> Sir where Wellington you see? is <laughs> dancing on the table. <laughs> Oh, God, Snickers funny. right in front of him, like, doing the exact same thing. 
have just, have the guards made have the guards reacted in any form one has finally just given up on trying to get his friend to not look and he's just like don't look don't look he's trying to enchant you and the other one's like <laughs> i was like <laughs> I w- the moment he smiles i'm like hey he's like <laughs> i'm glad you can lighten lighten up sometimes it's good to see you smile and then he stops well i mean demon or not say, Yo, don't stop <sighs> I, I'm like, uh, I don't think it probably would go well if uh, if they came in and saw you not doing what you're supposed to do, so I'm not, I don't want to get you in trouble. Oh, the, uh... So he would have stopped before the people came in then at that point. So you walk in and he's just standing on the table then? Hi, Marcus. Uh, Sir Wellington, what did you do this time? Why are you on the table? They they said I'm evil, but I don't think I'm evil. I don't know. I He is immediately going to turn to his interrogator. And this is going to be best described as, like, someone just called a kid, like, an idiot in front of their dad. <laughs> and he's going to be Aww. like, how fucking Aww. dare you? How fucking dare you call that little guy evil? He may be a troublemaker, but he is not evil. The interrogator is just like rubbing her forehead like, oh gosh. Listen, our magic has never been wrong about this. He came back registering as demonic in nature. I have interrogated him thoroughly. He does not believe he is a demon. But the magic never lies. Oh my gosh, I do not. It is amazing. How you all have not had he is not he is not demonic. I have been with this guy for a little over half a year. If I were to notice that he was some sort of like demon or something like that, I would have noticed it. He may be And I feel him. like Kieran would have killed me. Yeah, exactly. Kieran didn't all... hesitate to kill the person he was sleeping with, so I don't think he would hesitate to kill me. Okay, there is a lot more context to that, but that is that is a good point. So Kieran is murderer. Okay, make a note of that. That nope. is. Hey, no, 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 no. You do not do that. He d- did not murder anyone. Is. We. I mean, the person one. he was sleeping with turned into a demon, Marcus, and then he killed them. Ah, okay. Change that. He is a devoted demon killer. That's interesting. All right. Uh, well, you two need to follow us. This okay. is fucking bullshit. No, Sir Wellington, we are not following them. We want to talk but to he, them. But they said to follow them. And no, this they is should bullshit. It, should it, you are but not. You, you, told, you told me to listen to people who are in authority. Aren't they in authority? Yes, but let me tell you. New lesson, Sir Wellington. Sometimes people in authority are little shitheads who don't know what they're talking about. And they do I'll not remember know what they're talking about. remember that for next time. You, <laughs> he looks up at you and smiles. <laughs> okay. We'll discuss that later. But they are shitheads. You are not a demon. This is all a bunch of bullshit. Tell it's Sebastian been here. Get him to clarify this. Sebastian is not in charge of this. Um, we actually are. You are talking to the senior officers. Well, we're fucked, then. He's you just don't look that old. Just... Why, thank you. I really appreciate that. Now, if you will please follow me. Okay. He's just gonna walk. And Sir Wellington is, even with all the bullshit Sir Wellington has done, he has never seen Marcus A. Matt. This, like, rage feeling and irritated. Right. He looks at him, alright. Do you want beef jerky? He reaches into his pouch and, pouch and hands him beef jerky. He takes it and just like rips off yeah. a large chunk of it. Um, you guys are led. Oh. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Do either of you guys want beef jerky? And he's like, talk to, to the senior officers. The, they'll just like look down and kind of just very stoically just shake their heads no and, and keep oh, walking. Yeah. 
Uh, the the four guards, two in front and two behind, will fall in line behind the two senior officers, the interrogators, and um, they will lead you. So they'll they'll walk up to the the, the inner wall and they'll hold up their ID, which will open a uh, another hidden door to this long corridor with a low ceiling, very dark, dimly lit. It has a couple of torches here and there, which brightens it up a little bit. Luckily for Marcus, um, you guys walk down it. And it appears to slope upwards, and it seems like it's... Uh, and then after a bit, you, you kind of hit these, these stairs that are carved into the stone. And then you start just climbing up, and up, and up. And you hit kind of like a, a, a flight, a, a kind of like a, um, a little plateau, which then kind of like curves around, sloping upwards still, and then it hits more stairs. And it kind of, kind of goes like this, where it's, it's you're, you're going forward... And then it's like you're you're up, and and then it kind of like hits this plateau that feels like it kind of does a little loop, and then it goes up, and it kind of like another plateau. How long are we like doing this for? Yeah, about an hour. Uh, about fifteen minutes in. <laughs> Sir Wellington goes, "How much longer?" Do you, not know. Do you want to be on my shoulder? No, no. He was like, it's like. He, he projects his voice towards the like the senior officers. How much <laughs> Ignores longer? Ignores Marcus. <laughs> well, because he's still walking. He's right. just like, because like, this isn't that big of a deal, but he's like, right. mm. It's close to an hour hike, so just make yourselves as comfortable as possible. Mm-hmm. We probably have about 14 minutes left. Twenty more minutes in, it's gonna go. How much longer? You you don't need to answer him. I am going to answer the um demon child. He's not a. It's about demon. it's about a half hour left. Uh, why are we doing this? Because you did not Just pass. See. So what are you gonna do to us up there? That they do not okay, respond to. I have shitty magic. Mm-hmm. I can't tell is only true from a fucking light. Wow, you guys are getting lit lifetime bans from here. <laughs> Just Marcus does not care up. at this point. He's like, fuck all of you. It's like. So wouldn't it have been, if you were trying to just kill us, wouldn't it have been easier to do it down there? I think so, but maybe they like to torture us. Who maybe. knows? One well, of the guards mumbles, God knows this walk is torture. Good. I hope he, it he, is torture. He pauses to the to pauses and turns around and goes, I'm sorry that this is torture for you too. Would you like some beef jerky? I actually would. That would be nice. The uh, the he one has, that smiled at the him. dancing says that it, it was not he the guard that said it was turkey. torture. The guard that said it was torture does not respond, but it was the, the one that dancing replied. <laughs> the one he, that... he hands him some beef jerky. I was, he's like, uh, I hope this makes the the climb a little more bearable for you as well. Hmm. Uh, you know what? It, it it does. Thank you. Thank you. No welcome. He's Mark is gonna go. Let's just turn to the one who said this is torture, and I go, I hope so, you little fuck nugget. <laughs> about, about like, Sir Wellington is, like, semi-aware. It's, like, ten minutes before they, like, gonna get to where they are. He goes, are we there yet? Uh, the guard attempts to slap Marcus... But with the seven, it's he just like swings at air, and Marcus is able to dodge back. Why does he go to slap Marcus when I ask? That was for Marcus's. I hope. Oh, it was yeah. Oh, um, he's just gonna go. Wow, y'all can't even slap right. You hear Marcus, an audible. Do you groan. think it's nice to antagonize people? I 
At this point, yes, Sir Wellington. <laughs> I will remember the that. The unraveling later. of the youth pastor. Um, <laughs> when you push the youth pastor hard enough. <clears throat> the uh, After another ten minutes, um, he says that the guard who gave him, him jerky is like, no, no, we got another ten minutes left. We're almost there. Okay. Five minutes later. Are we there yet? <laughs> just just a few more minutes. <laughs> Marcus is just gonna let this happen. He's gonna let it happen. Not gonna say anything. Two and a half minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> Almost there. At that, at, at, I'm guessing as they turn at that point, like the minute late, like when there's a minute left, he's about to say it, and then he can see the door, so he just keeps. No, he's head. about to speak again, and the lead interrogator casts silence. <laughs> Mark is just gonna turn. <laughs> Mark is gonna turn to Sir Wellington, just kind of give a thumbs up and like, "Good job, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> Sir Wellington looks at him with utter confusion. <laughs> He's not used to this, like, Marcus praising him for this sort of behavior. Right? <laughs> Dad, what are we doing? <laughs> Dad, are the you city, okay? Kid. Did they break you? <laughs> He's wondering if Marcus has been replaced by a demon now. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, you have heard him use the word fuck more in this, like, hour, two hours. This is just you because have. you've been playing Milo too much lately. <laughs> that that also gives me <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Milo doesn't really use the F-bomb. That's so true. But no, this is purely because, like, A, TSA, no matter what iteration it is, is bullshit. They <laughs> insulted my child. And they are shit at their magic as far as Marcus is concerned. So he has absolutely no respect for these guys. That that makes sense. I don't think that they're shit at their magic. They just they just want they're so, I I think it's that they're so bored they want to believe that someone right. is like bad. They're projecting. They're projecting. <laughs> they're demons all along. Yeah. <laughs> As, as you guys do get to the to the, the top, we get the, to the top, this... and it's just cells, and it's people like, ah, uh, you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> Your entire party is in there. Like we we're wondering when you would show up. You no, it's not the rest of the party. It's all the people from the previous times they brought people in. Oh, There's yeah. always like it's... one or one or two that are like, they said we were demons, but we're not. Yeah. <laughs> but they 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 can't they can't accept it. So we're all up here now. Yep. No, uh you you get to the top and it opens up, then it slides away, you're blinded by the light for a minute. Oh, you could warn someone. Uh, blah, 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 yeah. like, no, 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 no. You and, just see like muffled and mouth moving cause silence. And as your eyes adjust You are standing on top of this ledge at the peak of the mountain. Overlooking all of Sanctuary. For the Marcus first is... time... You want to head what? No, Mark is going to, like, try to cuss, but since the silence, he just... You just <laughs> see Marcus mumble, like, a few <laughs> paragraphs of things. The... How long does silence last? Let me check. Not Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> I mean, that's a good movie, though. Anyone mm. who hasn't seen it and loves a good horror movie, definitely recommend it. Well, it's more thriller. Up to really ten good. minutes, as long as the guy's concentrating. Up to ten okay, minutes. Never. It's okay. I, I figured out what I need to figure out. It's okay. Okay. I don't care. Okay. I'm worried. <laughs> Um, no, because I have I have assumptions as to what's about to happen. So, me too. All right, um, very curious to hear what those are in a bit. Um, as you get out there, he drops silence. 
And uh, the female interrogator turns to, to the two of you and goes, All right, well. It's really beautiful. It yeah. is, isn't it? It is. Just. All right. I'll pretend not to know, but what are we doing up here? Just, uh, just take a moment to catch your breath. Well, it's not that, like, I, I'm fine with breath. It wasn't, like, that intense a walk. It was just really, like, boring. And it was long. Well, you're not going to like what's ahead of you, then. More long and boring steps? That's that's a word for it, yes. <sighs> so it's just a cliff, just a sheer cliff. Pretty much. <laughs> gonna go like, uh huh. One step and a long, long drop. Out in front of you is rolling, beautiful green hills, like Shire Hills. Just. Yep rolling off in the distance no, this is this is what sanctuary looks like below it's miles okay. below you but it's like it's like if you're doing a flyover of, of scenery in New Zealand that's essentially what you're looking at so up front there seems to be rolling hills that's covered in farmland just farms everywhere and beyond that there seems to be some patches of woods and then some cities in clearings, and then large fields that have, like, farms that are around the cities. And then farther off in the distance, you can see the coastline. And mm -hmm. port cities in the distance, mm -hmm. miles upon miles away. The places we were supposed to land. Not even close. You weren't going oh, wait, to this no, continent we at all. We weren't even going to this continent. <laughs> we weren't no even Never mind, <laughs> sorry. I'm like, wait a minute. As soon as I said, I'm like, wait <laughs> you're good and they the, the guards just kind of like sit and go well alright time to move follow me and she will motion to two of the guards to come follow behind you two um, the male interrogator kind of stays behind and with the other two guards. And do you guys follow? Yep. There's this Where path to the right. Headed? She's going to down this path to the right. It kind of like slopes down a little bit. Alright. Sure. I don't think he's gonna have very much choice. Yeah, fair enough. Um the guards come with and as you guys kind of like arc around this peak, you find yourself now looking at, like you can see where the mountain peaks, like the corruption that climbs up and then it stops and it's just beautiful mountains about halfway. And you see that corruption again as you come back around. And she stops and then kind of sidesteps around and behind, um, Marcus and Sir Wellington, and then she motions to one of the guards who brings forward, and she and he he um, pulls out. Uh, he he hands this bag of holding to Marcus. What do you want me to do with this? Uh, this has your possessions inside it. You're kicking us out, aren't you? We never execute anyone who's suspected of being a demon, just in case there is a mistake. But you cannot enter Sanctuary. I'm sorry. Oh, so you're just taking the long route for execution. That totally is different. There are pockets of people who live out there just fine. Ah, shut the fuck up. Yeah, we, we, we escaped from one because they tried to kill us. Because they turned into demons, and then they tried to kill us. Thronder is a and very that... unique settlement. Not everywhere is like Thronder. Oh yeah, but, because we're but supposed the, to trust but the, people not to turn to fucking But then I was with but then I was with Sigurd and the the people they they found immediately tried to attack us and they were demons as well. And 
but look, honestly, I don't know what the hell that thing was doing in my back. I swear to Kalyane and all the gods that I had destroyed. Okay. You might want to check your bag again if this is if that is true. Because so, it wasn't the only item in there. What? Speaking of which, here, we do not want these in our country. And <laughs> Sir Wellington, you see His this eyes woman get really big. hand this demonic idol to Marcus. His eyes get really big and his mouth just drops and he goes, You motherfucker. <laughs> Marcus doesn't even register it. He's just going to go a solo seal and immediately cast Guiding Bolt on it to destroy it. Is that what you use to destroy the others? Uh, he probably did like Holy Water. No, he, he, last time he, I'm pretty sure he had uh, Callie uh, help him burn it. That is true, yeah. But I mean, yeah. Holy <clears throat> Fire, though, at a high enough level, I think will destroy it. Eh, it scorches it. These are high-level demonic artifacts. These Do are... they have any gems on them still? Yeah. Sir Wellington runs over and just starts trying to, like, rip the gems off. Hey, no. Back the... F you... No. Okay. I wanted that leads to gems. They're shiny. She lets no. go of his and Sir Wellington takes it. <laughs> Actually, she probably would have dropped it when he cast Guiding <clears throat> Bolt, and the guards are, like, on point now. They're, like, ready. Sir Wellington standing on the thing trying to rip the gem off of it. You, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, he's definitely a demon. All Can right. I have the gem? Um, it's shiny. Can someone help me get the gem? I don't care about the thing. I just want the gem. And they see him just straining to pull, specifically just the gem. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus is just gonna grab his bag of holy and just start walking away. All right. Um. The 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 interrogator will just nod solemnly and motion to the to the guards. This isn't That's very good. nice of you guys. We do what we must to protect our own. I'm sorry. Do I still? Did I hand that belt of giant strength to Kieran? There's a potion or whatever. I don't know. Remember, had I thought it was in your bag. I'm gonna down it. Okay. Um. As as they go back, she uses mold earth to to create a wall so they can't come back up the path and back into sanctuary. Yeah. yeah but is there like a thing over? Like, it doesn't just go infinitely. So, like, the wall, it, it, there's a top of it, yeah. There is a top of it, yeah. Yeah, so I down that potion, and I just take the idol, and I chuck it as hard as I can to yeet it, like, not over just where they are, to yeet it over so it, like, <laughs> rockets to land somewhere in Sanctuary. Okay, then. Um... I'm going to give them a perception check to see if they notice this sailing over their heads. Oh, heck yeah, they notice it. Um, let me do this. <laughs> so here's what happens. As this gem-covered idol flies up, you hear shouts of sentries all along the top of the mountain. <laughs> We're under attack! Whatever. And all of a sudden, a ton of flaming arrows just... <laughs> and converge on this single idol. <laughs> and eviscerates it. And chunks of idol... And now loose gems come raining down. Oh, so my guiding bolt can't destroy it, but the fucking flaming arrows can? It was 30 flaming arrows. That, no. <laughs> I had fucking holy magic. In I don't, I, yeah, I, I, I would, I would, I would agree with Marcus on this one. Like, yeah. All right, that, fair enough. Cool. 
Fair enough. We'll say it doesn't. It changes. I would say it changes, it the, changes trajectory the trajectory. It changes the trajectory. And we'll very much slows it down. It but... changes the trajectory then. Fine, fine. Mr. It... Wellington's Guiding response Bolt is kind of like... Guiding Bolt is like a cantrip. What do you mean? That's Guiding a... Bolt? Yeah. No, that's oh, a no, spell. Oh, no, never mind. That's a spell. That's a first level. That's a... Yeah, and you can keep... You, you can, can build upcast it, up. it. He would have used, like, a fourth level spell to destroy it. You can up... Yeah, you can upcast Guiding Bolt. Is it is it holy magic though? It just is a flash of light. Yeah, it's hold on, let me pull it up. Da, 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 da. Okay, guiding bolt. Flash of light streaks toward a creature of your choice within range. Make a spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes four D six radiant damage. Ah, radiant damage. Okay, there it is. Yeah. yeah. So it is holy okay. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, he would so, use, like, a 4th we'll level to destroy it. Oh, 4th level. Yeah. Let me see. Hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, you know what? Roll damage. Backtrack. Roll damage. <laughs> Backtrack. Roll. Oh, wait, no. As high as his 5th level. No, he's using a 5th level on that mofo. Alright, roll damage on that, then. Okay. Oh yeah, eight. That that that's a lot of that point. Eight d six. Uh, that is twenty four holy damage. Double if it's it has to be a or Okay. Okay. Um. You were close. You were close. Uh, the HP is thirty. So, so when you do that, it's like, it like scorched it and like you could hear this demonic screech ring out and cracks formed it and stuff. So let me roll damage for the, uh, the 30 archers, um, 26 of whom hit, uh, Yeah, they still only deal eight damage to it. It's a lot of ones. Um, so it, so we'll say like one arrow hits it in the crack that Marcus had created with it. So it's not destroyed technically. It just cut it in half. Um, popped off a gem or two. Which are now flying back in in Mark, uh, Sir Wellington's direction. So, Sir Wellington, you do have a couple loose gems flying your way. Mage hand. Fair enough. Mage hand to 30 feet. You can... 30 feet. No, yeah, you can catch. Two, two gems popped loose. You can definitely That's catch fine. the gems. That's fine. Sir Wellington's happy. All right. <clears throat> he runs over to Marcus. Because now there's that wall, yeah? Yeah. How high is the wall? I'd say it's about 20 feet tall. Okay. What? Um, is, is that tall? Is that short? What are we talking here? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Very worried. Um, you guys are planning. <laughs> <laughs> so Okay, so because I just need it for a second, I go, over. Marcus, Marcus, are, are 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 we wanting to go into to to into sanctuary? No, we're not. They don't want us there. We're not going to be there. I can, can get us in. Get I can get both of us in. Wellington, I have to be. You 
No, just hear, hear me out. Look, I make you small. You climb on my back this time. I, we cl- I climb up the wall. Then, when you, then I cast Feather Fall on us. And then I cast Invisibility on us. And we jump. So where are we going to go then? You can try. I want you to be safe. Go hide. Do what you do but, best. But, but I, you need to go with. You don't want me. You, here. you didn't do anything wrong. Well, that unfortunately is life. You don't do anything wrong, and the world still fucks you over. But, I am on a ship to help people. And I am here on a health state. That's a better reason for going on a ship than for me. I went on a ship to try food. Oh my gosh. So Wellington, please. I just need you to take this a little bit seriously. I, I am. I, that's why I got on the ship. better reason than I got on. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not I'm not angry with you. I'm just well, What was that bullshit? You're not, you're not some demon. Are you? Not I mean, I'm definitely magical, but I'm not a demon. Look, I... Uh, Solution is there as well. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe we can... Try again. He's going to immediately start looking at his back because uh, he said other. The Captain Guard said other items, right? Yeah. He's going to look and see what other items they were talking about. There are a couple dozen demonic totems in there. And this is in his bag? Mm-hmm. It appears that the lining was, like, torn open and they found a secret pouch. So, Sir Wellington, you see him, like, pulling this stuff out and his backpack, and they put it back in the hidden pouch. Um, Does my pouch have a hole like that as well? I don't... Who the... Sir Wellington, you did... Yeah? Who did this? Huh? Who, put, who put the shit in my backpack? I don't Fuck. know. I mean, I didn't. I know how you reacted when I found the stuff, so I wouldn't have done that. But, yeah, I don't know. Go, can can I? I'm gonna. What check do I need to make? Because I know how like, like not thrilled like Abigail was with Marcus at the time, and that's the only like because he pulls pranks and all that. That would be the only other person he can think of that would pull pranks if he did. So what would I need to roll to think uh, maybe? And I also add, Abigail literally showed Sir Wellington one of the artifacts that she had. That is true, too. He would probably know. That is true. We'll say, we'll say it's a history check. It's a couple months okay. ago. It's straight roll. Marcus just starts tossing Ooh, 18. over the edge. Just I th- sure I have a plus five to history. Paces. Of demonic bullshit. That's a 23. Well, I'm glad because the check was a 20. You remember distinctly Abigail um, showing you an artifact similar to this at some point. 
Uh, Marcus, you're not going to like this. Oh, great. More stuff. What? What? Do hey, I he, po he points over at that, t that the, like, the one. He's like, I know that one. Your Wellington? Abigail yeah, showed it to me. So the, the, there's a high chance Abigail thought it would be funny and was trying to prank you. He's going to immediately just grab out his armor and just, like, he's going to gear up. And he's gonna start walking, and he's gonna make sure. And as he's walking, he is going to immediately contact Allie. Okay. Well, what does he do to contact Allie? He's going to, because he doesn't have the. I mean, to be fair, he can just pray. So as he's walking, he's holding on to his holy symbol, and go, Kaliande, Allie. One of you better answer right now. He hears Ali's voice and she goes, Thou hast sum has summons thou thou hast summons me Ugh, I can't speak like that. <laughs> thou hast summoned me. You were wrong about Abigail. Where is she? Go to my shrine. It will reveal her location. I'm sorry to hear that. I have high hopes for her. Had. Let me ask you. You're a goddess, right? You yes, I am. The, you can look into the hearts of humans and find in moral beings to find out what they intend to do. To an extent. Well, stop at my altar. I will give you a vision tonight, directing you there. You can use the altar to locate Abigail and the portal to reach her. And he's going to cut off the communication right there. Hanging up on a goddess, oh boy. <laughs> This, this boy's come far! <laughs> yes. He's gonna say this in, like, a voice you've never heard Marcus say. He goes, You wanna pull a prank on that, Miguel? <laughs> His eyes get really <laughs> big and smile. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Follow me. We got a shrine to find. That is okay. <laughs> Yep. I love it. <laughs> Child, help me murder someone, and it's a prank. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll put their head back on their body when we're done. <laughs> oh, they're... That's hilarious how you think there will be a head. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Fucking morning stars, bitch. <laughs> Yikes. You know, and he's gonna make sure, of course, Sir Wellington is there, but... Wait, what do you have an idea of the shrine? Could I get an insight check for Marcus? Okay. Um, he'll have a vision of it tonight, yeah. Uh, hold on. That was a nat 20, but let oh. me just see, like, how much he sees. Uh, that is a 29. <sighs> yeah. Marcus, when... When you say, can you see into the hearts, you know, you'll know I'm going to do stuff like that. He feels this righteous anger fill him. And what he was taking amplifies times, feeling amplifies times ten as Ollie's own anger towards Abigail joins with his. Okay. And he feels hateful. 
fill hate fueled rage towards what Abigail has done. He has upgraded from youth he's now, to crusader. Yeah, he's he's now a freaking <laughs> paladin crusader essentially. <laughs> I smite thee. Quickly changes domain to domain of war. Right? <laughs> okay. I also love how Sir Wellington is like, yeah, she probably just pulled a prank on you. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little prank, bro. Come I on. Know, well, it, so yeah, I mean, I it, it, in his mind, like, that's like... Yeah, like why would not any, at all... anyone do anything but a prank? He's yeah, not at it's all like... terrified that Marcus basically turned into a space ultramarine there for a second. Right. <laughs> Shout out where he's just like... What's... He's like, he doesn't know what's going on, but he's like... This is a different side of Marcus he hasn't seen, but he's also like, he's not going to lose the opportunity to pull a prank with Marcus. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. So The stories. The stories that they will tell oh. from generations of the prank. <laughs> oh, the healer has turned into the damage dealer. Hey, you know, it happens. <laughs> As you guys head down the mountain... Um, back into the, the wild desolation beyond. Uh, we'll pan back, we'll pan over to Abigail. Abigail has been arguing unsuccessfully for the greater part of, I don't know how long at this point, um, with Callie trying to persuade her why this sacrifice is necessary to go home and why the ends justify the means and all that stuff. Um, I am going to attempt to play Micah here as Micah will just poke her head in the door and go, um, okay, uh, my, uh, Naz, could you do Micah's voice for me real quick? I think I just used my regular voice. Just I just took voice. off her. Okay. So if I can, I think it's kind of a slight <laughs> accent. Okay, let's, let's try this. The door it's opens. It's not that much of an accent. <laughs> it's a little bit of an accent. To you. The, the door opens and, 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 and Micah's head pops in and he goes, um, Abigail, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, I will say that is a thicker accent. That is a, it's yeah. a little bit thicker. She'll be a bit thicker of an accent. She'll be a bit She's... thicker when I do not thicker. It's what it's, <laughs> what, it's what happens when ab- it's so what happen- it's what happens when Mike is tired. The accent gets yeah. thicker. Yeah. 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 That's that it's like funny. when I get a call from my grandma who's, you know, from Tupelo, Mississippi, and go, All right, well, hey there, money, how you doing? Well actually it's May May. It's hey May May, how you doing? <laughs> it just gets really thick for a moment, yeah. It's like that. She sees her sister, her accent thickens. <laughs> She's just like, fuck. <laughs> Micah, can I, can I see you for a moment? She'll look at Micah and walk towards her. <laughs> Callie just glaring at her as she goes. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be like, one minute to Callie. <laughs> In the next room, Micah closes the door behind them and goes, What was all that about? What What kind of ritual? What did you get yourself into? I told you, you don't need to worry about it. No, I think I do need to worry about it, because we're family, and what you get yourself into, you get us into. It happens all the time. It's always happened. It's not happened that much. Right? Yes. That time we fought fought the trolls together? And it ended with a wand up its nose. <laughs> <laughs> you want you wanted to fight the trolls and I was like, I don't think we can handle that and you were like, Yes we can And I was like, No, and guess who wound up in the hospital for a week? Yeah, but Make a, make a, make a history check for me. But it was cool, me. Make, right? Make, make, a, make an insight check for me, by the way. Insight or history? Insight. Okay, sorry, I rolled history. I feel, I feel like that would be Abigail's response. Yeah, but it was cool, right? right. <laughs> insight? Yep. I have a f- mm, Nine. Nine? Did this... Something's weird about Micah, but you can't tell what. Oh uh, yeah, a lot, a lot, and I can't tell what she's a human. She's she's telling this the story all wrong. You don't you don't like you're like what? Yeah, this there's, there's it's not something the fact wrong. that Micah's being played by a dude right now. I was gonna say. 
<laughs> so Naz, There's something would you off like about to play him. them both? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I hate playing two characters. Aww, I decided. It's not like DMing or anything. <laughs> nope. I respect you guys so much. I can't do it. I respect you, but no. Oh, just wait until I have six NPCs in a room that I have to interact. That's going to be a fun time. It's going to happen hey. one day. Um, You're telling this like I don't think you really remember what happened. No, I do remember. You wanted the fight and you got me knocked out. That, that, it's beside the point. It's beside the point. What have you gotten yourself into? What is this ritual? What are you doing with borrowing souls? I'm slowly turning into, <laughs> slow, slowly turning into um, Jester she's from Critical from, Role. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's Russian or something. <laughs> I didn't realize you were like that. Your dad was just straw, did you? And <laughs> you're just he's just turning into like. Right, so he's being paler <laughs> over here. <laughs> I told you. Don't need to worry about it. It's a ritual that will get us home, and that's what matters. I'm going to go talk to Histon about it. Don't talk to Histon about it. I'm Histon is fucking. Histon don't talk to Histon, okay? He's. You don't want to do that. Why don't you like Histon? You always get along with everybody. And for some reason, you suddenly don't like Histon? Which Abigail does she know? I am so confused at this point. <laughs> you get along with everybody? I do have a charm and a social <laughs> affect. I am just cautious with this thing. Yeah, maybe to your thralls. <laughs> yeah. You get along with everyone. Getting a lie, it's all a matter of perspective. <laughs> this is not Star Wars, Obi-Wan. <laughs> no, but it's now, so it is Star Wars. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, she just says... What's going on with you, Abigail? You're acting weird. I'm acting <laughs> weird. Yes, you're acting weird. You went through a lot of changes during... the events that led you here. Yes, it's best to I know. Say that maybe your perception of things is not the best judgment right now. I think I'm gonna roll psychic damage for Micah. <laughs> what? She I just. Didn't... She looks. This was just such she looks utter bullshit. Hurt. That... She looks. Actually hurt here, like. I get damaged by accident. I'm, I'm going to go talk to this now, and she turns and walks off. Histon has been very nice. You've not been lately. I don't know what's going on. Did she say that? Yeah. I've been very nice. I didn't do anything. She's still walking off. Can I can I follow her? Yeah, you can follow her. Oh, yeah, I'll walk off. Like, I didn't do anything. What did I do? What's wrong? No. You... You worked with Coraline. I don't know what's going on with her, but she's weird. She... There were dead people in there. Did you kill that woman in the dungeon with me when I woke up? It's not going to like this if she, if she thinks Coraline's weird. <laughs> no, yeah. Micah, I told you, we had to do difficult things to bring you back. Does difficult equal killing someone? It's better if you don't know. What happened to you? I don't remember. That just answered it. That Abigail, answered it. back at home you wouldn't have killed people for weird rituals willy-nilly. Well, back at home we weren't stuck on some cursed fucking this place who brought Micah to this yeah, place and I don't think I was here until you brought me here <laughs> I don't know what shit you've gotten yourself into I don't I know either whatever you did to me I can't remember 
I didn't kill you. Oh, that's good I, to know at least. I would never kill you. Michael, you were dead. I used I brought you back. Yeah. You did. And apparently you killed someone else to do so. That's not not right. I she doesn't remember who it was. Right? No. I didn't I was hoping you wouldn't find out. I I woke up next to a dead body. How would I not find out? I know. <laughs> That's a good oh. <laughs> I know. I was very hard on me to capture your energy with that. Because <laughs> you I, do stuff like that. You're like, I know. I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but if we we didn't have a choice. There was no other option. I couldn't bring you back home. I, Mike, I don't know what it will be like at home after what you did. And I didn't know what situation you would be in with the Empire. I don't think it's safe for you to go there. I didn't know where else to bring you. Yeah, how does Mike respond to getting a bunch of yeah. information she has no remember memory of? Right? <laughs> this is not going to go well. <laughs> Abigail, you're not making sense. I'm making sense? What do you mean? You're not making sense. All that stuff about rebellions, empires... What? I went to school! I wasn't in any trouble. So uh, an accident probably happened in class, okay? Micah, have you ever fucking made an accident to yourself in class? You study like if you miss one fucking letter, the whole fucking universe explodes. Well, yes, I'm very careful, but it was probably some clumsy student who didn't pay attention in class and thought they could cast something that they couldn't. You don't remember how you died? No. Is there a check I can make to know if telling her this information is going to be a bad idea as Abigail? Let's do a uh, general insight. Let's do an insight check. Let's do an insight. Insight? Check. Yeah. Okay. As Abigail, not knowing that, you know. Right. Okay. Oh, hey. Insight is awesome. Abigail just rolls such good insights. That's a five. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be fine. She'll be fine? Yeah. So, so Abigail thinks it's a good idea or a f she would be it fine knowing matter. the information. It wouldn't matter either way. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what she would do if it does matter. Uh, as, uh, it doesn't matter as in it would not have a negative effect. It would not appear to have a negative effect on uh, on Micah's psyche. Yeah, but it wouldn't have a positive effect either. Well, there's, she doesn't no, really... there's no way to know if it would have a positive effect or not. It's yeah. just she's sh certain it wouldn't have a negative effect. Okay. You didn't die in class. How do you know that? I need, her, need, her own voice needs to be higher. How do you know that? I got the information from someone who was there when you died. And you trust this person? Not really. Okay, there you have it. How can a non-trustworthy person tell something that is actually truthful? She was telling some truths. Some truths. So she tells some truths. Yes. Where is she? I would like to talk to her. I would like to see what this woman has been saying about me. You can't talk to her. Why not? 
She's permanently busy. She's permanently busy? Yes. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, you see that, that corpse that Coraline has walking? <laughs> permanently busy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. This, she's she's Micah's personal attendant, so holding like a second no! right behind his... <laughs> no, you can't do that! Micah! <laughs> you can't do that. Don't do that to me. Come on. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, Coral, okay. Coral, she's not there currently, but like you know, you just see like carrying some books like passing along the hall. <laughs> different hall. <laughs> Uh, she's just busy permanently I don't know what to tell you you can't talk to her is it is it that weird witch Coraline because I can go I, I will go talk to her I don't care if she's busy or not I need to know what's been said about me because I don't remember said about you She said that you had been meddling in things that were frankly none of your business, such as a rebellion. That's ridiculous. There was no rebellion. Can I... Can I roll insight to see if she's lying? Sure. I mean, when she, she left, there wasn't a rebellion. What's that? She, I know she's not lying, but... I. Abigail wants to know if she thinks. She's okay, lying. fair enough. Yeah, roll inside to see if Abigail thinks she's lying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Just some great insight rolls. That's a six. It checks out for the character. Too. Yeah. Micah is <laughs> clearly lying about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no rebellion, right? Listen, it's. Why are you talking like that? Why are you being weird? Because we all know. And you know how that's gonna go. I don't like this side of you, Abigail. I'm gonna go talk to Histon. He's been nice. He'll understand. Hey, you can talk to Histon, but I'm gonna follow you. Fine, just follow me then. See if I care. And she's just gonna keep walking down. I think you do care. She's gonna keep following her. No, I don't care at all. You are being very, very weird lately, and frankly, I don't like your your, your attitude. And I don't, I, don't know what you... I don't think our mom would like it either. Mom raised you better than this. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Okay, she's she's just, like just looking at her, confused. Like, what are you ta what are you bringing this up for? What are you talking mm. about? This is weird. Like, she's she's like concerned a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. She, um. She's. She's not gonna directly respond to the comment, but she'll just say like. I. know it's not pleasant, but we need to survive for now. We'll. Work on damage control later. That makes you feel better. It doesn't, but at least, at least it means that you're so sort of willing to talk about it. Um, talk about talk about all everything, all of this. Um, as she reaches. Uh, Histon's room. She'll, like, knock Sorry. and be like, Histon! Histon, open up! We need to talk. Abigail's doing stuff. She's working on some sort of demonic ritual. 
and she claims that you know something about it. What are you talking about? She is bullshitting, but you do need to open up. The door will open with Histon kind of cracking up, and there's... Oh. Hello, Micah, darling, and how are you today? I'm doing... I'm doing well, thank you. Micah, I'm mixing up. Abigail was telling, uh, I don't know, some girl a moment ago about some sort of ritual she was working on to contact demons. And she said something about borrowing souls. Why can't you tell me about this? Oh. Abigail, what is this you're working on? You seem to have your sister in quite a tizzy. By the way, he is standing like this nonchalant, dapper gentleman. Like, this is a side of him that you have not seen before. He is. He so turned fuck. on the charm. The fuck? <laughs> Can I... He, he is. He is fucking he, with He them. went from the professor in Back to the Future to freaking Vincent Price. <laughs> uh, I guess another example would be like, um... Christopher uh, Lee, very dapper gentleman. Old, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just know this. I don't have to roll anything. Yeah. To... Okay. Yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> like okay. his posture's different. <laughs> he's he's smiling. And making eye contact while he speaks to Micah. And with you now? Because, like, you know, when he looked at... He, oh, oh, sorry. Ah, that <laughs> oh, really don't, hurt. Don't fall. Also, I'll, I'll it, up my chair. I'm sorry, but enjoy the gif in the chat. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I saw it already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> How did you do this? <laughs> hey. Oh, I, I can't wait for Karen. I can't wait for Cole's reaction to everything today. Okay, what the hell happened? Right. Well, okay, uh, so Marcus is a crusader now. So she's gonna, like... Kind of like look at Histon like what the fuck, <laughs> and she's gonna like <laughs> grab Micah's shoulders and pull her back, and kind of like try to push her aside and wait till she's kind of like out of your shock. Like what the fuck to Histon? What? What the fuck? I don't understand what you're so upset about, Abigail. What are you two talking about? I can I can I join the conversation now? We're talking about... You can't listen just now. Just a second. Why are you... What is this about? I'm sorry, what is the this you're referring to? <laughs> Shh. Mm. <laughs> I'm dead to just... Um... <laughs> I'm just this dude. She's not gonna do that. Um, she just kind of like glares at him, like, "Are you fucking serious right now?" Uh, of course I am. When am I ever not serious? I take everything quite seriously. Okay, so can you tell me why you're being so fucking weird with my sister? Oh, you think I can't be charming? Yes. Listen, Abigail, not everyone is a prick like you. There are a lot of people who I actually enjoy the company of and have a much easier time being myself around. Insight. You simply know how to bring out the worst in people. Can I insight? You may, yes. <laughs> I feel like you're lying. And another great role. That's an 11. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it is true. Abigail seems to consistently bring out the worst in people. <laughs> just because she is the worst, you know? Just She's the rotten apple that rots the batch. <laughs> yes. When she joins a group, things get moldy pretty fast. That's good. Okay, so he's telling the truth? As far as Abigail's aware. It's only her fault <laughs> that he's not charming around her. <laughs> now, now she feels, she can feel like, like, eh. I mean, she's aware that she's a jerk. But this feels like it goes beyond that. But he seems to be telling the truth, at least from his perspective. As far as she can tell. She'll pull Micah back in and keep glaring at his dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh Michael will just kind of like stagger over and be like okay what what was that secret things secret tunnel secret things yes She's still glaring at Heston. <laughs> Heston, what are you guys working on? With with the whole... Is it, there some sort of ritual? Well, yes, we're working on one. And Micah... And, and, and Abigail said that there will be borrowing of souls? What is that? No, no. Oh, calm down. Abigail, did you say there was going to be soul borrowing? What the bloody hell? No, 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 dear, no. Um, it will not be the souls of humanoids. It's there are animals involved. You're going to be borrowing the souls of animals. Just momentarily, they are already half demonic beings. What we'll be doing is we'll be <coughs> purifying the the demonic essence out of them, and then returning the purified soul to the creature. You've seen how mutated the things running around here are. We're trying to fix that. Oh. I'm gonna roll deception for him. Yeah, okay, but I know he's lying to her, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I know he's bullshitting. Absolutely. Dude, man, I, I think if anyone were to know any his gym was bullshitting, it would definitely be Abigail. <laughs> it's just if he, if she can bullshit Micah. Right? Well, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> wow. They both rolled poorly. <laughs> Who rolled Abigail, more poorly, though? They both rolled a six. Abigail, like, squints at him? Can I get an insight check from Abigail? <laughs> oh, no. oh, yay. Let's see what we got. Hey, a ten. Hey, that's enough to tell wow. that Micah appears to buy it, but there seems to be a hint of doubt. Now, I am I am sorry. I'm I'm working on trying to find a way to to kill these animals. If you could go back to your studies, all right. I I will once you are up to speed on your magical abilities. I will bring you in and we will work on fixing these creatures together, okay? We'll, we'll fix this land one animal at a time. She goes, all right. Abigail, you were talking about something weird back there. We're going to have to discuss this more later. You want to come with me now? What does Histon look like he's doing? In the he's keeping the door intentionally closed enough so that you can't see what oh, he's you doing. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> you bitch. She's gonna, like, glare at him again and look at Micah and be like... I just realized with the events that are currently taking place, this actually might lead to Histon meeting Wellington. Yeah. Ooh, it is possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Do you want to talk about it now? I think we should discuss it, unless you have something to discuss with Histon. I might have something to discuss with Histon, but it can wait. You talk with Histon, I need some time to think, okay? Okay. Alright. I'll see you later, sis, okay? She'll, she'll grab Abigail's hand and give it a squeeze. <laughs> I was gonna say she'll gonna give her like a side hug. Oh, she'll pull her in for a full hug. Okay. <laughs> I feel yeah. I feel like sixteen year old Micah likes like tugs. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Abigail can send. How how chill is boy day to day? Is he fine? <laughs> is can you just sit on her lap and like? Well, yeah, boy has just been following along this whole time, like, weaving in and out of their legs, rubbing up against them. Okay, she can send boy to chill with Micah, if he's not going to be a total menace. Alright. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I don't want to, like, absolutely destroy this girl, but, okay. I'm just sending Meanwhile, boy. Meanwhile, Callie has been left to her own devices. <laughs> uh... She may or may not be in the castle anymore. <laughs> Depending. Right? Uh, Micah picks up the cat and goes off back towards back back down the hallway, kind of stroking its leathery, bat-like wings as she heads back to the library. And Abigail is left with Histon. What the fuck? What? You can't lie to my sister. Please. Lying is more important than anything. If you really want someone to work with you, you usually have to tell them a half truth at the best. His like his his posture, everything just drops. Goes back to what <laughs> it was. Just I hate the as soon of as that. she out <laughs> as soon as she's out of sight. Why do you want my sister to work with you? I'm already working with you. Your sister's a bit more amiable. Very funny. I've been very good the past few months. Yes, well... Actually, I can't argue with that. I've been, I've been rather impressed. See? Uh, I can do it. Makes me want to vomit to say it, though, because you're such a dick. Yeah, but it keeps things fun. <laughs> I'm not boring. Well, fair enough. And you just called your sister boring. Well, I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, e either way, either way, perhaps if you were a little bit nicer, I would be a little bit nicer. But as it is, you're not, so I'm not. I have been nice the past three months. Or is it You've been months? obedient. Obedient is not necessarily nice. Obedient simply means you're doing what you're supposed to. Does not mean you're doing it with the correct attitude. Oh my god, excuse me. You want to be all polite and shit? I mean, look at Coraline and Micah. They're so very, very polite. And you are so very... Eh. <sighs> You. He'll turn he's around and walk into the room. <laughs> what? I mean, he said from the start he sees himself in her, so what does that say about him? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I. This is not someone different... who likes himself. <laughs> I have different qualities than Coraline and Micah. You have different qualities than Coraline and Micah. Yes, you're willing to read a book that they won't because it's demonic. Ooh, so scary. If they could get over that, they'd be ten times the assistant you are. I don't believe that. I have more balls. Hmm. Micah will... maybe grow into herself, but I keep things interesting. See, I got you a demon the other day. They wouldn't have done that. Okay, that is impressive. I will admit I've been having a fun time studying this one. I don't understand what the... Uh... It appears there was some sort of curse. I had heard of that. There was um, some, some... It doesn't matter. I don't care what the name of the place is. But yeah, apparently there was some place where they've been... 
It's a curse, it's a curse. But curses are very interesting and fascinating to work on because if you can figure out the origin of the curse, then you can mm, potentially um, recreate it. And that's a very fun implication. See? Useful. I didn't say you're not useful, I said you're not pleasant. I'm super pleasant. Just yes. in a different way. And so is a thorn in my boot. How is a thorn in his boot useful, though? <laughs> well, some people do a thing that's called acupuncture. Some people like it. Just because something is useful does not mean it's pleasant, is my point. I have been blessed with being both. Anyways, you can't lie to my sister. I don't like the smell of any of this. I'm doing the work. I'm going to be super pleasant. But leave her out of this. Leave her out of this. Really? Yes. That's what you're coming at me with. Leave her out of this. Yes. Why? Why should I give up a perfectly good assistant when you aren't willing to cooperate? I am willing to cooperate. She is not willing to cooperate. How many lies are you going to have to spin to get Micah to do everything? Do you think Micah would have even gotten you 14 dead bodies to start with? That was task one, if I recall correctly. Hmm. I thought it was just bodies, not dead bodies. No, he, he didn't need a mix number of, both, of dead bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was a mix of alive and dead. <laughs> well. I can't argue with your results, but what I, what I can argue with... You know what? Why am I arguing with you at all? Just, you're not worth it. Just keep doing what you're supposed to and leave me the fuck alone. He's going to go back and start, like, fiddling with his... stuff. <laughs> He's taking notes. Uh, he actually has uh, the demon girl. She's wearing, like, rags now. Um, bloody rags that she took from the, the, the body that she ate. Um, uh, and, and she's, like, strapped to, like, this table, and he's, like, he's, like, making notes, he's, like, got some vials of blood stuff that he's, like, now, like, you know, testing with other chemicals and stuff like that, um, there are some that are, like, bubbling, there's, there's one that's, like, this, this demon tail has grown out of the liquid, <laughs> it's just, like, twitching, um, and just... A couple of the weird little bottles of stuff that he's got, like, along this rack there that he's, like, pouring droplets of the blood into from the vial and just, like, looking to see what happens and then, like, takes notes as, as it bubbles or froths or whatever. Can I... Okay. Can I walk up to his notebook? And she's gonna, like, basically try to swat his hand away and put her hand on the notebook and read. And can I make something like intelligence or perception or something? Or whatever check to see if there's something I can spot that he didn't spot. Like a, a sure. fact or make, science thing. Make an intelligence check. Please work. And I'll just let it be a free okay. action that you go up and you slam your hand down on his, on his uh, notebook. 22. You do actually notice one of them appears to be... Like, there's a swirl in it that he didn't seem to catch. But you're pretty sure that one's the key to unlocking the curse. If someone ingested that, they would gain the ability to transform into a were-devil. Okay, so she, like, slams his hand away and she's like, I am worth it. And she points to the swirly one. I don't see that in the notes. What's about it? 
she'll give like a scientific <laughs> reason. <laughs> well, wait, 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 the chemical yeah, reaction. Yeah. This, this one appears to be binding with the blood so that it becomes a proper potion. And then what happens is you can drink it and you just... Holy fuck, how about that? Oh, but look, it's not in column A or B or C. Um, is it in right, appendix right, B? All right, all right, all right, fuck you. It gives him no food back. It's <laughs> the reason he called you a dick. All right. <laughs> this doesn't change my opinion of you being an absolute asshole, but you have proven your worth. Would you like to try it? Try what? The potion. Huh. You want me to become a were devil? Could be fun. Might improve your personality. Personality is great. Uh huh. Who yeah, told you that? You just... My mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my dad. <laughs> my dad, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple people. Right. Well, she'll look at it. She's thinking about it. <laughs> Well, I will try, and he's going to, like, pour some of it into a cup, and go over, and he'll, like, bang on the bars wrong. Hey, hello, you, one of you, come here, come here. Here, drink this. You must be thirsty. No, yes, yeah, well, you know. Um, it's first come, first serve, just don't, don't hurt each other. There, there you are, you enjoy that, you enjoy that. Oh my, um... I think the dosage might have been a bit high. They immediately full, turn into like a full-blown imp. <laughs> and then just kind of melt into a puddle. <laughs> How much did they take? Oh, they downed the whole cup. It was... It was enough... Basically, they drank enough for like five giants to become cursed. Um, it doesn't this mean is much. <laughs> He's trying to translate the curse that they have, so that means you turn into a demon every what, full moon? Yeah. Blood moon? Yeah. And they just full blown, they turn into like a mindless demon. Just straight up. Completely. <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I was going for. It's definitely the right potion, but um, I need to work more to get the dosage correct. Can't have that happen. Everyone's just freaking out in there. It's like looking for someone to attack. Now it's clawing at another one of them. Abigail, clean that up, will you? I can't have it killing the other prisoners. <sighs> Cods. And he like shuffles back over and starts jotting down more notes. I'd like you to notice something here. What would you like me to notice? You have told me Abigail, go clean this up. And then you criticize me for being a dick. I'm the master, you're the apprentice, it's your job to clean up. When you're the master, you can get someone else to clean up after you. I understand that, but there is certain language that you can say to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> the magic word, you are nothing else. <laughs> Abigail, my most wonderful darling assistant... Will you please oh oh tastes so wrong. Will you please oh, clean up the demon before it kills one of the pris oh well it's a little bit late for that now, isn't it? Before it kills any more of the prisoners. You see us then? I would be so glad to serve someone with such a wonderful mind as you, and it would be my absolute pleasure to <laughs> deal with the demon. Sounds like she wants to cry. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's, she'll start, like, I don't... Uh, he'll, he'll, like, raise an eyebrow and go, like, tastes just as bad for you as it does for me, doesn't it? So, do we have a conclusion to be reached here? 
sure. Yes, I suppose. I don't see why not. I'm trying to see, like, the demon, how hard is it from, do I have to, like, can I just grab it, or do I have to, like... Yeah, it's just, like, it's just, like, a dreath. It's, like, a low-level, mindless demon. It went, and it just, like, beat, like, just, like, <laughs> until one of them just, like, dropped to no HP, and it started eating the body. Okay, so I'll just, like, probably do, like, a cantrip or something on it, try and kill it. Or did he want me to take it out of the cage or kill it? You just said clean it up. It's up. It's up to, up to you how you want to do that. I'm killing it. <laughs> okay, so I'll just do some cantrip to kill it. How like how much HP does it got? It's got like ten HP. Okay. Um. Do you want me to roll something? Yeah, sure. Why not? You you're gonna be able to hit it. Just okay. roll damage. <laughs> okay. Fifteen. Oh, yeah, you, you, you insta-kill this thing. Okay, cool. It's clean. It's still dead there, but it's clean. Don't worry about it. Yeah, everyone else is freaking out in there. <laughs> it's fine, guys. The threat is neutralized. Not yet. <laughs> Not the ultimate threat. Mm. As you come back out, Histon's just back to writing in, in his in his little notebook again. Back to ignoring Micah again. Abigail. <laughs> Sorry. Abigail again. I had mixed up their names all night. I know, it's fine. They're... Similar in looks. That's it. Fair but enough. They're both here. One's you with long hair, the other's you with short hair, basically. Yeah, because you made them. You didn't give me a description. So I know. I just went with the closest thing I could work with. <laughs> and, now I'm, and now I'm evil. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean, and now? And now. Evil? We just uh, had this it... discussion about actor versus character. <laughs> That's true. No, I'm, talk, right. I'm, ta I'm always talking about the... Well, one of the characters, at least. The other character, I think, is adorable. We were talking about with, uh, we were talking about Naz. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I was talking about Abigail. Yeah, no, same. Sorry. I'm not evil. I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> no, you are a small bean, Naz. You are a bean. Thank you. I am. Naz, Naz has good vibes. Absolutely. Naz, Naz, Naz how tall vibes. are you? No, sorry. I, I was strictly talking about that. Very tall. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll not say on the live stream. Five foot eleven. Six ten. Six five. You might if want... you were if you were six ten. I'm not I, six I, ten. I, I, would, I would be like, wow, like, yeah. I'm not six ten. In very Just... high platforms. In very <laughs> high platforms, I am six ten. Just start singing the giant woman song from Steven Universe. <laughs> I wish. No. <laughs> Get five four vibes. You're so close, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ian, buddy, you're still too tall. <laughs> I, by so little though, I'm almost there. I think I could be if I tried really hard. Are, are, are you Wolverine's height? What's Wolverine's height? Five three. More or less. <laughs> Amanda is 5'4". Hmm. Comic book, like, in the year Mike is gone, Markham. What? Oh, there you are. No, I wasn't audibly talking. I was just... Oh. I was thinking, and my mouth was moving along. It looked like you were speaking, and the mic was not picking up anything. I was like, oh, no, it went. Yeah. Comic book uh, Wolverine from the X-Men is 5'3". 
He's as tall as a Wolverine, or I guess a human version of Wolverine. Yeah. I'm 6'10. <laughs> yeah. You're six a foot ten. taller than me. If you're 6'10. Uh, Actually, uh, Naz, I think you're close to my wife's height. Because Kayla's five foot, five foot one, so you're 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 close. I'm taller than her. Yay! <laughs> I'm taller. Unless she wears heels. <laughs> well, yeah, but I wear goth platforms. Oh, boots. that's true. Yeah, you win. I got her beat. I'm yeah. sorry. Do, 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 do you wear the kiss platform shoes? The Gene Simmons platform shoes? No, I actually don't know what those are. You know the band Kiss? Yeah. Man. Yeah, Gene Simmons, the lead singer, would wear like platform shoes that were like this tall. Yeah, I have some that are like seven inches, <laughs> yeah. but there it's like the whole platform. It's not like a heel, because I can't walk in heels. But it's it just basically adds free height. It's amazing. This will just further confuse the other players, but um, <laughs> can I have platform boots in this? <laughs> yeah, no, we're. That's what you get for not being the part of this. You get confused. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. They're not even listening a lot. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, Actually, you, one of yeah, them has a baby that, yeah. on the way, so best vibes to them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All yeah, right. We'll so, so, Abigail, you, you come back out after cleaning it up, and, and Histon's gone back to work. Um, Let's pan back over again to Sir Wellington and yeah. Marcus. <laughs> As you guys are now at the bottom of the mountain and looking out, I'm over just gonna the say we could we could, we could we could we could have gone. I could have feather followed into there, but I do think pranking Abigail would be great. How and... long does feather fall last? That's the thing. Because I'm pretty sure you'd lose. The spell would run out <laughs> before we landed. Like if we jumped off the cliff. Okay. Towards sanctuary, it lasts. Uh, let's see. Because it's a it, slow it, fall. It's one minute. No, it. But the thing is, it it lasts for a minute, and you fall sixty feet per se- per round. Hang on. So, and each round is six seconds. So, I you you can fall six hundred feet without taking any fall damage. That's pretty. That that that's what Featherfall is. Okay, so you would still be about three hundred and eighty-five feet off the ground, but you'd be you'd be most of the way there. That would still cause a splat. It would be about a nine. It's about a nine hundred and eighty-five foot mountain. Each. No, no, I was I. We didn't actually do that. I'm just saying we could have, like in his, oh, in his, okay, in, in his, in his head. He's yes. like, well, you here's know, the we thing. Could've. If you guys, if it ran out and you guys started plummeting, you could, could just cast recast it, again. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you would have that moment but, of like, oh shit. <laughs> but the the only the only pro- the only problem at that point mm-hmm. is if I had recast it, invisibility goes. Because so the plan, sudden, my my plan was to uh, cast feather yeah. fall and invis- then invisibility right afterwards. Because if uh, a, if a target is like if the person who's invisible is a target of another spell, they lose invisibility. Or if they attack, they lose invisibility. Uh, that makes sense. So my plan was for us to like just invisible whoosh, into uh, sanctuary. Whoosh. Uh, yeah, that makes. Sense. But yeah. all no. the fun fact, if you want to go by technical D and D terms, it is you gain. I think it's like one d ten of fall damage for every ten feet you fall, or something like that. Up until it's up to a max of one hundred and twenty points of damage. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm still I'm still a wizard. I would splat. Well, yeah, <laughs> but the. The funny thing to me about that is at 120 feet, uh, 120 foot fall, it maxes out. 
so you could fall 1,120 feet, and at level 20, you'd only take 120 points of damage if you rolled max damage. <laughs> so you could fall from, like, the edge of space as a level even, like, 15. Like, you know, you're probably going to have more than 120 health uh, HP uh, by, like, level 10 most classes. And Pure landing, Pure landing. Oh, so, yeah. right, so like it does not matter if you go strictly by D and D rules. Terminal velocity. If you crit roll on your damage to yourself, then you'll still only get 120 points off your 300 HP or whatever. So it'll hurt, but you'll be like, I'm good. <laughs> I what? Yep. We saw you fall from a plane, dude. We're all right. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun if that was how it worked in real life? You landed, yeah, it hurts, you need your back adjusted, but on that, you're fine. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, um, you guys are now at the bottom of the mountain. Abigail has no idea that she's got a pissed paladin coming for her. Um, Cleric, but... <laughs> consequences, consequences of our actions, the thing that Abigail has never had to deal with. Um, what? Oh my when god. Will you learn? So I did when will you it? learn okay. that your consequences I have action? <laughs> so I did I Marcus just, legit I like just, just switch over from cleric to paladin? Because if so, I need to rework some stats. <laughs> um, No, he's just acting like a paladin. Fair enough. <laughs> so as he's locking down, all these people coming in are like, why is that cleric super angry? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, it's not like there's a line of people coming in. I mean, at this point, they've pretty much filtered out everyone who can and can't come in. It's just Fair a enough. matter of people like you who get shipwrecked there every now were and there then. Other, were there other people that got kicked out? Oh, there have been other people that got kicked out. That's what she said to you at the top of the mountain. No, I'm saying from right our now, group. Though. Yeah. Oh, no, just you two. Okay. Yeah, so we're the, we're, the, we're the only two that, yeah, I will yeah. say Sir Wellington is a little, like, peeved and all that uh, with certainty. The rest He's of like, them are all enjoying that, it. Actually, as he, as he gets to the bottom, um, he looks at Marcus. Marcus, are you able to send people messages? You would. Marcus has been given a, it's essentially walkie-talkie. I think it's called a sending stone. Um, he has yeah. one, his girlfriend, Sorsha, has the other one. So, okay. yeah, you basically have a walkie-talkie to your girlfriend. Actually, you should add that to your inventory. Forgot to I'm tell gonna you. I'm going to add that to my inventory. I didn't even... I, I completely that. forgot to tell you about that. Yeah, she would have given Mar you one so that if you ever got separated, you could keep in touch. Marcus, right. uh, can, can you tell Sorsha to please keep an eye on Harrison and... Uh, Kaylee and tell them that I'm okay and I will be back as soon as possible. And tell yeah. Kieran to take care of them. I will. He's gonna okay. make sure they're of course in a safe place and just uh, go to the sending stone. Uh, wait, is there a magic word to activate it? Or yeah, you say the other person's name. So she says Marcus and you say Sorcha. Okay. Okay, he's gonna go. Go with the sweet, mushy stuff. Marcus, where are you? I didn't see you with the others. They didn't let me in. What do you mean they didn't let you in? That's preposterous. Someone. Hey, what? What, what that term even? He, no, it's not gonna be that. Here we go. He's gonna let go. You didn't let me in? Because someone stuffed my bag full of money. I was. And I know who it is. Oh, darling. I'm so sorry. Be yeah, alright. I'm just gonna go find Well, be careful, alright? Don't do anything stupid. Uh, rash. Uh, you know what I mean. I know. Uh, also, Sir Wellington says, uh,. He wants Kieran to take care of Callie and the Harrison, too. Harrison, and, Her and Hershen too. Make sure that they're all right. Can you pass it on. Then that I'm okay. Yeah. And that Sir Wellington is okay. Of course, he got kicked out as well. Yeah, stupid fuckers tried to call him a fucking demon. 
Oh my gosh. That's awful. Yeah. Well, I'm so sorry. We didn't have any trouble, so... Tell you what, darling, I'm... I'll make sure everyone's safe. Um, I will... I will... Pass on this information, but then I'm... I'm coming to... To find you. I will... I will meet you wherever you guys find... You, find... I'll, I'll meet up with you, okay? Look, darling, I do appreciate it, but this is a personal matter. I don't want you involved in this. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm. I. I. I tell. Tell her that I will protect you. Uh, Sir Wellington says I, that. I could hear him. I could hear him. Tell him that he's very brave. But that. that Sir I'm still going to come. If anyone else wants to come, they are welcome to, and we will. We will back you up. Okay. Would I hear that? Yeah, you can probably hear that. It's like, you know, it's like when someone, okay. like, like, the speaker's not on okay. on the phone, but it's high enough that you can kind of, like, faintly hear it. Okay. Plus, I imagine Sir Wellington is probably close enough. Either way <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like it's like... <laughs> he, gives, he, gives a thumb, he gives a thumbs up. All right. Well, I'll be outside of the gate with Sir Wellington. We can wait for y'all there. For y'all here. I wouldn't... Wait right there. If they think you're a threat, just find someplace safe. We will meet up yeah. with you, okay? All right. Uh, darling, I do have a question. Yeah, yes, of course. I know you are a paladin, and just wondering, do you have any oaths about not killing people? Fuck no, that would be absolutely stupid. Good. I'm not going to go kill a little shithead. Sir Wellington now just like kind of like looks up at you confused. Oh, this is a prank. There is um there's definitely silence on the other end of the line. Well, I'll see you soon, okay? I'll see you soon. All right. Um bye. Bye. So, what sort of prank are we pulling? He, he like he just very gingerly like looking up at him ass. He's just gonna look at him and just start walking to a safer place. Come on, Sir Wellington, can't wait outside the gate. Okay. And yeah, just gonna find a place to sit. So as you guys kind of walk off, and you find you do find this kind of little cave. Um, it's shallow. There doesn't appear to have been anything living in there in a while. They're like some sort of animal bones, whatever it was, died in there years ago. It's bleached from exposure, so it's, it doesn't smell or anything at this point. Um, unless you like go up and like kick it around, and then it like smells a little bit. Um, which, now that I think about it, Sir Wellington probably would go and kick the bones. He would, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> it will sink there for a bit. You guys bud, bed down there for the night. Marcus, as you sleep, you see a vision. Uh, yes. Wait, before, like, as we're laying down, okay. uh, Sir, Sir Wellington would be like, Marcus, I have a question. Um, the The people were asking me about, like, like, th do you like? Do you ever not tell people stuff because you're afraid of how people will react? Marcus, well, I guess Marcus is at this point laying back facing Sir Wellington. He'll just kind of turn around and go, "Well, sometimes. I mean, there's stuff that naturally we're kind of ashamed of, even me." Well, I mean, like. There, there's things that have happened before when people have learned things about me where they don't like me or they view me differently, and and that's it's it's really hard and it kind of can be hurtful sometimes. So I don't usually tell people that stuff, but it, like, does that make someone evil? That had something. As long okay. as it's not actively hurting 
I, I, I don't think it does. He's gonna full turn around at this point. Just rest on his arm. If Sir Wellington, is there something you want to tell me? Not that. Not really, but like it's just one of those things where like it just I don't know like people have like the last time someone treated me like that was like like I was some like bad thing was when I was being hunted by the cultists that were chasing me and they like wanted to kill me and and that's when I like escaped and like hit on the ship as well uh, that's not wrong you were trying to get away from people that were hurting you okay well if it gives you any help gives you any sort of I guess Recompense? No, that's not the right word. Comfort. I ran away because I was afraid of hurting people too. Well, there wasn't people I was af I was afraid of hurting, but the 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 cultists stole me away, and then when they thought, because they thought I was, they also thought I was something different, and then when they realized that I'm just me, they wanted to kill me. So, Wellington, that's because, frankly, they're cultists. Those people want, are evil. They, yeah, they thought that, but then as soon as they saw what I saw, a normal kind of crazy, a uh, known child that just likes to pull pranks. Of course, evil people are going to try and take advantage of people like that or try and kill them. Just because you're that, I don't mind you. I mean, yes, you do get on my nerves with some pranks, but that don't mean I'm going to try and hurt you or nothing like that. You're but safe with is... me. Then what would be the difference between the pranks that I pulled and the one that Abigail pulled? It's because I do believe get Abigail intentionally meant to hurt me. To hurt those around us. Mr. Wellington, if we... I'm honestly glad it was just us that got kicked out, not the group, because if it was, if any of them had had any of the things that were in my bag, they all would have been kicked out. But thankfully, Abigail targeted just me. Gotcha. Okay. And then he, he's going to pull out the gems. He's like, there were these two gems that were on the thing. Should I not have them then? I do not think you should have them. I'll replace them with something else shiny that I don't think you should have. I promise. I will. Okay. He's gonna, like, hand them over to you. Thank you. I'll dispose of them in the morning, alright? Okay. Just try to get some sleep, alright? He just he just nods and lays down as well. Marcus will lay down fall and try to fall asleep too. Mm. All right. Um, as you, hmm. As you drift off to sleep,
you see a vision. You see yourself getting up and walking west. And in front of you are the massive mountains, which this, this voice enters your head. Across the graveyard of civilization and tucked in the Devil's Claw mountain range. You will find a sanctuary and a shrine. Worship at the altar there. And as, as you're hearing this voice, you're seeing yourself, like, speed run, journey there, so you know exactly where to go. To worship at the altar. And the portal will open. And you may have vengeance. The voice sounds pained. And you shall have justice. And then the dream ends. And that is where we are going to leave it off for tonight. So, um, I was a heavy, heavy at the end. Um, this is this was an emotional episode. It was. It was. <laughs> um, right. Ooh. Uh, thank you everyone for coming out and joining us. Uh, we'll do outros, uh, starting with, let's go reverse order, Marcus first. All right. Uh, Matt, I played Marcus, who has unintentionally went into his Crusader arc at this point. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I am super excited to see what happens. Same. Arthur Wellington. Hey, hey, I'm Ian. Uh, you can find me in most social medias at artful underscore thinking. Um, yeah, I play Sir Wellington. It's sugar induced, not so much sugar induced, but hyperactive numb child who is very confused about what things look like right now and is trying to figure stuff out. That he is. He's trying. Um, and last but not least, you know who you are. <laughs> I'm Nez. I play Abigail. Yes, you are, and yes, you do. And then I am Markham, uh, Mr. Markham on social media. I was your dungeon master, game master, dungeon lord, shenanigan sovereign, whatever title. Um, I was your host for this evening. Um, you can catch me bi-weekly on Sundays. I play in the Rumors of Magic game alongside my wife under the wonderful DM Mazrix. Um, tomorrow night, Naz and I will be playing in Legends of Kralis, fantastic Aetherpunk science fantasy campaign run by and created uh, by the magnanimous, magnanimous GM uh, Talarius, uh, Talarius Game Master. And then... Uh, Oh, those are the only ones I play. That one here, and then the other one, uh, and then but the but they have more things. Um, Tuesday they just started a campaign called State of the Union. Seems to be a somewhat near future setting on Earth, actually, which is different. Uh, DM'd by Coddlesworth, and then Mondays are the Iwin Adventures, DM'd by um, I believe it's I Sneeze Stars. Um, the host of our Discord, which I should actually put in the chat. Um, so, definitely check it out. They have some wonderful stuff here. Um, we're here all week. And uh, thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Uh, next week we'll be delving a little bit more into the quest for vengeance against Abigail's shenanigans, while Abigail, meanwhile, tries desperately to prepare a ritual that will send everyone home. Hopefully. Um, or at, if not everyone, I'm pretty sure Abigail would be just fine going through it and leaving them all behind. Um, uh, so we'll see where that all leads. Okay, she might want to bring Micah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
with the exception of her sister, she'll be fine with leaving everyone else behind if need be. Um, so, yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe and stay lost, everybody. And...